Now for this part of the question, where given that f of x equals 2 sine of x squared plus x minus 2, and x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 2 pi. And we've got to show that there's a root for x between 0.75 and 0.85. So how are we going to do this? Well, this is quite a common type of question. What it's based on is looking for a change of sign in the interval. In other words, just as a quick bit of background, if you had your graph, let's say we were plotting y equals f of x, and we've got our interval here between 0.75 and 0.85, the graph could look maybe something like this, going from positive to negative, and this would be our root. Or it could be a graph that looks something like this, where again, you've got your interval 0.75 and 0.85, and your graph is going from negative at 0.75 through to positive at 0.85. And here would be your root. So we're looking to see if there's a change in sign. So we start with working out what f of our first value is, 0.75. And you've got to be very careful with these kind of questions when you've got trigonometric functions. Check out what your angle is measured in. It's measured in this question in radians because we've got between 0 and 2 pi. So make sure your calculator is in radians mode. So what you need to do is just put this value of 0 0.75 into here. So you'd have 2 multiplied by the sine of 0 0.75 radians plus 0.75 minus 2. And if you do that, what you'll find you'll get is minus 0.1833 and so on. So we've got a positive, uh, we've got a negative value, I should say. Okay, so it's looking like it's going to be this graph. But I can't guarantee that. I've got to make sure that when I put 0.85 in, I get a positive value out. So if we were to put f of 0.85 into our equation, just like we did here, I'll leave you to write down all the bits for it, but you should find you get 0.1725 and so on. So we've got a positive value here. So clearly this appears to be the graph that we're after. This one isn't the case. And if we assume that the graph is continuous, that's there's no breaks in the graph over this interval, and there are no breaks, okay, in this graph, then there will be a root. So to summarize, I would think you ought to write something along the lines that therefore, since the curve is continuous, okay, or f of x is continuous, uh, let's just put is continuous, that means there's no breaks in the curve over the interval. And we'll put the interval as being 0 0.75, 0 0.85. Done that in square brackets there on purpose for in the interval. And if there is a change in sign. Change in sign. Okay, because it's gone from negative to positive, there must be a root. A root, okay, in the interval. I think something like that is going to be sufficient to get you the marks then for that question. All right?